extraction of metals, that is general principles and flows of isolation of elements, which is one of the basic topic of inorganic chemistry. The extraction of metal atom includes three steps. It occurs in three steps. The first step is concentration and second step is isolation of the metal from the ore, the concentrated ore and the third step is refining. Already we are in the discussion of first step that is concentration of ore or crude ore. What we are going to get the ore in the earth crust which is crushed or powdered well and it is subjected to the first step called a Concentration of ore. Concentration is also known as ore dressing or ore benefication. What actually the concentration is? Concentration means it's a process of removal of Gangue particles. Gangue particles are means unwanted particles or undesired particles like sand, mud, clay, etc. So that the process of removal of unwanted materials from the ore is known as concentration of ore. Depending upon the nature of ore and the Gangue particles, we can adopt four general methods for the concentration. That is hydraulic washing, magnetic separation, froth flotation as well as leaching. Already we discussed what actually the hydraulic washing is. The principles are very much important. If the question in the annual examination is there for two marks, definitely one mark will be assigned for principle. So must you write principle for all these methods. Already we know what the principle behind this hydraulic washing is. Hydraulic washing is based on the principle that difference in the specific gravities of ore and the Gangue particle. The ores containing a heavier metals can be concentrated with the help of this method called hydraulic washing because Gangue particles are lighter than that of the ore particles. On the basis of this principle, due to the difference in the specific gravity, with the help of the water wash, we can remove of the unwanted impurities called hydraulic washing. And second is magnetic separation. In magnetic separation what happens it is mainly based on the principle of difference in the magnetic properties of either ore or gangue particles. Means between ore or gangue any one of the particles having a magnetical attracting capacity or characteristic then other one doesn't have so that then we can easily separate out those gangue particles as well as ore with the help of magnetic separation. So this is principle in the difference of magnetic properties of ore and gangue. So already we discussed this also. Now we have to go actually for the discussion regarding froth flotation. Froth flotation is one of the method of concentration of ore. Okay now and remaining one is leaching. Four different general methods we are using for the removal of unwanted materials. So let us directly move on to froth flotation under concentration of ore. We are in the discussion of first step. In order to recall the thing, just I remember all this. So let us directly move on to the third method under concentration that is froth flotation. Froth flotation process or froth flotation method. So what actually froth flotation is, what the principle behind this, already we know the word called froth. Froth is not a guru one thing. Froth flotation process. Already we know that froth will definitely float on what? On water. Right? So water may be froth in a curve, float after a curve. So after a froth in a create muddy, water may be oil layer only, froth formation or the froth only or on a dissolved model on the principle. Very interesting principle it is. So that froth flotation principle is, it is based on the difference in the, it is based on difference in the Vettable property, vettability or vettable property of ore and gangue particles. So, we have to focus more on this principle. This froth flotation is based on the difference in the vettability, means solubility of ore and gangue particle. And you have to concentrate this point that. 
Froth flotation process is applicable for sulfide ores. Note this point because entrance examination question it is sulfide ores. The ores containing sulfide, sulfur can be concentrated with the method called froth flotation process. Usually now we talk about sulfide containing ores and the mantra. Why? Because here is the smart that we have Sulfide ores having the special character that the sulfide compounds are soluble in oil rather than the water. So that in a the sulfide ores are oil only soluble like the organic material only soluble like the whereas ganglion particles are soluble in water. So that we have to separate. Already we know we have to separate ore and the ganglion particles. We have a mixture now. We have to separate it. Ore and ganglion separate not go. In this ore will soluble in oil, whereas ganglion particles get soluble in water. And we know that oil and water will not mix with respect to each other. So if you mix oil and water, definitely it forms two layers, right? So oil will be different than the water. Calculate the there two difference in the densities and oil only. The sulfide also soluble are there, water only unwanted ganglion particles soluble are there. That's why to this purpose difference in the wettability principle no kuda sumar sari kedi dare one maki ge. So that difference in the wettability of o-ring ganglion particles is the principle behind the froth flotation process. First point and you have to remember which type of ores are subjected to froth flotation? That's nothing but the sulfide ores. For example, galena, PBS is the best example. It's an ore of lead. So this is extracted, concentrated through froth flotation process. Such type of sulfide ores are extracted from a froth flotation. So this is the principle of a froth flotation. Now let us see the procedure behind this. Procedure is also to interesting and important for the annual examination. So concentrate. Now let us move on to the process which is behind froth flotation. One more question can you get tomorrow straightly spaces there so that keep concentration on board. Let us consider a tank. Okay now. As your wish, related tank. Okay, so let us consider a tank which is fitted with a rotating pedal like this. This is what we can say it as a rotating pedal. Rotating pedal. Okay, ये मज़ के ऐसा करी तरह ला same process. ना मैं इधर ये नो तो बोलता रहा। और तो बात रहा करना है अगले मज़ के करेगा कितना करी बोल। That's it. So what happens? It forms froth. Due to this reason, we need a rotating pedal and a tank. And this inlet is to pass air. This is for air inlet. We have to pass air. After passing air only, the froth will easily form. So that that's the reason it's an inlet for the passage of air. Then what happens? This is what the setup and apparatus we needed for froth flotation. And next is after setting this apparatus to the tank, add in and add but we go to this tank, add powdered ore. Powdered ore. What we crushed it off, the ores of sulfides should be crushed first. Then we are going to get powdered ore. Pour this powdered ore to the tank plus add water and plus add frothers, frothers and plus add collectors and plus add froth stabilizers, froth stabilizers. Now this point in the tank. So to the tank, what we have to add in an number of other first list of number. To the tank, first you have to pour. So adhi mada kara pa. Adhi mada kara pa. Ya bala ingredients na hakme ko na. Kya bali mandu chaar na kora ke vashta. So to the tank first add powder do. Then water. Then some frothers. Then some collectors. Then some froth stabilizers. Clear? Then after adding all these things, 
start rotating. With the passes of a A, start rotating. Then what happened? See here. Already we added water. A, water, followed by frothers. Right? So this is water containing a powdered ore here. See. We can write like this. Powdered ore with it, water with it. To this add frothers. What actually the frothers are? Frothers are nothing but the, the chemical substances or organic materials which creates froth as well in the water. So for example, pine oil, we can take oils. Pine oil or camphor oil. Camphor oil like that. Oils should be taken as a frothers. Because now we will want haki divi already. Jute again add manta divi oil. These are nothing but frothers. Pine oil or camphor oil you can take. Clear? Then after add collectors. Collectors means what actually the role of collectors. This is also one more question. So the role of collector is to collect all the sulphide ores present in the powder form. So it collects all the sulphide material and it forms a bounding. Bound, it bound with the sulphide ores and it makes the sulphide ore repellent to the water. So the game on the thread, if you add collectors, these are also some chemical substances. Collectors can add maritashmi. If suppose this is a sulphide ore, imagine this is a sulphide ore and this is a sulphide ore. What happens of adding collectors? Collectors is also organic material which covers the sulphide ores in such a way that it forms an organic walls. So that is known as nuggets. So then we have to nuggets and medical it forms a balls. So that it becomes water repellent. Yeah, the oil balls are created to water really repellent factor. Till then it will not water repellent of reacting with the collectors like pine oil. Collector you know, pine oil example of xanthates. Sodium or potassium xanthates are fatty acids, organic compound. Fatty acids can also be known as a collectors. Collectors collect all sulphide ores and forms nuggets, bones of sulphide ores are created by the way. So then after forming collect, collection of all sulphide ores, since it is organic material, it will move to frothers. In ato, oil jagogi, oil only sulphide balls create agarutha sulphide balls float agarutha part. And all sulphide ores are get collected to the oil only. Not in the water. So in water, what is left behind? Only gangue particles are left behind. All sulfide oils are starts floating on the froth. Next, froth will be created due to the passing of air and after rotation. Rotating but in the rotation model, oil and froth again. And froth, no way. Yes, to stable and release of the other time duration, lifespan is too small. So that in order to extend the lifespan of the froth, we have to add froth stabilizers. So what are froth stabilizers? These are the chemical substances which stabilize the lifespan of froth for a long time. And then norena bala hattu kaapadate, other time na tumba elongation maadu malaka, it will not easily lost down because our froth contains ore now. Sulphide ores is present on the froth. So this is the froth which is created due to the frothers, due to the organic material. We can say this is the froth. So on froth, in the froth what we have a sulphur. So this sulphur ore, before collecting sulphur ore, if this froth will be escaped down, so then the froth should stabilize for a long time. So this process will be done by froth stabilizers. Example for froth stabilizers are cresol, cresol or aniline like that, etc. We can use as a froth stabilizer. Simply, you have a idea about the See, what we have to add in the time? Powdered or first, this ore contains water, sulphide ore plus gangue, right? Gangue plus sulphide ore is the other and water should be added along with frothers. Frothers are nothing but pine oil and camphor oils and collectors. Example for collectors are xanthates, sodium or potassium xanthates are fatty acids. Froth stabilizers are nothing but 
रिजॉल्स एंड एनालिटिक ऑन चोर ऑफ द नीट अगेन वर्ल्ड द पर्टिकुलर वर्ल्ड ऑफ नीट द ऑब्जर्व कर रहे सब यू कैन एबल टू राइट द यूज ऑफ दैट बिकॉज़ वन मार्क क्वेश्चन विल बी एस्क व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ कलेक्टर्स व्हाट व्हाई वी नीड टू ऐड कलेक्टर्स टू द फ्रूट फ्लोटेशन प्रोसेस what is the necessary of adding fruit stabilizers in the fruit rotation like this questions will arises so in order to answer for all this questions you have to get a knowledge like this given example for fruit rotation other questions are also heard bodu so fruits are pine oil camphor oil collectors of xanthates are fatty acids fruit stabilizers are cresol and then anilin fruit stabilizer stabilizes the fruit for a long time collectors collect all the sulfide ores and it will transfer it to the pine oil or the fruit what we have now so it forms a nugget the sulfide ores it is known as nugget one mark question we did na kuda kelidru makla so what is nugget nugget is a form of a ball form of sulfur which is made by the collectors clear collectors collect matter right and fruit those forms of fruit well fruit on the top of the water so what happens when powdered ore is poured to this and start rotating the rotating pedal with the passes of a a na pass martta martta rotate madidre kadidre majge yav tar kadidaro atara kadidre enagutte fruit formation agutte sulfur ella illinda illi vidana bartade and all impurities gangue particles are left behind in the water only only a sulfide ores are there in the fruit and after connecting all fruit फ्रोत कनेक्ट ड्रैंट प्यूर् फॉर्म आफ सलू पार्टिकल वाटर ओनली सो दिस प्रोसेस बिहड फ्रोत फ्लोटेशन ई थिंक इट इस अंडरस्टैंड हियर यू हेव टू कॉन्सट्रेट वाट आर आल दिंग्स वी हेव टू एड एंड वाट आर दर्पस् बिहड द एडिंग ऑफ दट पर्टिक्युलर कैमिकल सब्सटेस इन फ्रोत फ्लोटेशन प्रोसेस क्लियर इट इस keep this thing now let us give an example for fruit flotation because one difficult get arises here if the sulfide ore contain sulfide as a impurity then what happens or uh, if in the ore more than one sulfide ores are present then how we are going to separate it another question arise agutte for example if i consider galena what i said galena is a ore of lead pb Yes, is a chemical formula of galena. Galena is one of the ore of lead. Means it contains maximum percentage of lead. Along with this, galena also contains ZnS as small percentage. And the ZnS for the galena that is here today, ZnS is nothing but the zinc blend. ZnS is a zinc blend as well. It contains pyrite. Pyrite is a sulfide form of iron. If he yes to see, PBS is the ore of lead, but this PBS also contains ZnS and if he yes to in a small percentage, small percentage of it through pura these two becomes what a sulfide ore only. How do you know? Two impurities are two. This is the ore containing these two as an impurity. Because collectors only collect sulfide ores. 
along with xanthate if you add sodium cyanide and sodium carbonate Na2CO3 along with xanthate collector if you add sodium cyanide and sodium carbonate then it acts as a this reagent will acts as a depressing agent for both ZNS and FES2 that means how beautiful the chemistry is and right? here chemical substance na add but right? it allows only PPS to the froth but not ZNS and FES2 it depresses the action of ZNS and FES2 and it allows only PPS it acts as a depressant for ZNS and FES2 but only we are going to get what PBS in the froth. Okay, now direct again on to by the addition of sodium cyanide and sodium carbonate acts as a depressing agent which reduces the activity of ZNS and Fe, yes, no, and allows only PBS in the froth. This is how we can separate PBS from ZNS and Fe, yes, no. Ega PBS marker, now we see thing. Okay, now PBS so extract by the addition of these two. Next, what is remaining? We'll go to the We have a mixture of ZNS and FES2. ZNS and FES2. How to remove these two? How to separate these two? Right? Again, now we have to go for the activators. Depress model we have to activate one by one. First, in order to activate ZNS, add copper sulfate. Copper sulfate is Acting like the activators of ZNS. After addition of copper sulfate, ZNS will going to activate. And that means ZNS will come to the froth, but not the FES2. Okay. So, copper sulfate will act like the activator for ZNS. Hagagi ZNS and then what? Copper sulfate and add one of the extract what do. What is left behind? Only now we have FES2. Nothing but Pyrex, iron sulfide, pyrex and three to be. So this is uh, finally left in the material. What content? What we have at time only? You face to matra. How to extract that away? again through acidification? Acidification of Fe yes two. We are going to get Fe two. Extract matra So this is how the separation of PBS, ZNS and Fe two will make by the use of activators and depressing agents. Yeah, stress monitor because the question in the entrance examination itself is asked on the basis of these things. So, name or identify the depressing agent which is used in the froth rotation process in order to separate galena and its impurities and the galera right? that is nothing but sodium cyanide and sodium carbonate acts as a depressing agent whereas copper sulfate acting like a activator for ZNS e on the example particular example na, we have to remember for a long time because one mark question will arise definitely in so many times both in the entrance as well and well on the basis of this froth flotation. If God's grace, one mark question can be done directly, three mark question will arise. Explain froth flotation process. In that time, you have to write the principle as well as a processor. What I explained in the previous section, and then a poor detail again explain what This is about froth flotation. So after finishing froth flotation, next, the last step of concentration that's nothing but the leaching let us move on to leaching now 